Hello, welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm going to be making a spokes coaster, doing the spokes pour technique, I guess is what I'm calling it. I am using um, Art Pro Resin and I'm using this mold that my friend Tammy made me. Thanks, Tammy. And I have laid out all my colors and everything, so without further ado, we shall start. So I have 40 mils of clear. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in right now and that's gonna go on the bottom. This mold takes between 170 and 180 mils of resin and I mixed up 200. So I know I'm gonna have some extra and I have something else planned for it. But when I did this one earlier, I got this really cool like flower effect on the inside because it didn't have a lot of extra resin left over to push. And I kind of liked it, so I want to see if I can recreate it. Um, it was in the first one of these pours I did that was blue. I have done another one since then, but I didn't have that same like flower in the middle. And I don't know if I can redo it or if it was just a one-time fluke. So I used a different mold and everything. So, um, all right. So I got that clear in there. Now for my colors, I have 30 mils. And this is dioxazine purple. And I used four drops. Might not have needed to use that many, but I wanted it to be really dark. I wanted the main color of this to be purple and not be taken over by any other colors. And there's a lot of like white and clear, etc., in here. This is Abstract Acrylic Ink by Senelaire, and it is color turquoise. It's an opaque ish color ish meaning when it's deep it's opaque but when you pull it up like this it's not really opaque not very dark um, I used six drops but because it's more opaque it'll act differently in here it acts kind of like a white almost but not quite I don't exactly know how to explain it you'll see you'll see what I mean all right this is 30 mils with two very small drops of let's ocean Let's resin ocean white. Obviously I can't speak tonight. And it is a little more transparent than I normally have it, um, but that's okay because I do have that blue that is more opaque than most of the resins colors that I usually use. This is beautiful. It is Let's Resin Interference Pink mica powder and I don't know if you can see it but it is just beautiful it's just got this pinky pearly shimmer to it I'm super excited to see what it does and then I have this is my extra push I probably am only going to use about 10 to 15 mils of that and then for my center I bought some new purple glass um, at Michael's today, they had a sale, buy one, get one half off. So I got this one. It is purple violet and it is glass glitter is what it's called. It's basically really super fine crushed glass. And I've also got some silver of the same in here. Some bright pink microbeads and some black larger stones in there. So hopefully that will all look good. So I'm gonna start off with my purple. Make sure that's all mixed. And I'm just gonna start around the edges like I did before. I think the last one I did had purple in it, but it ended up looking more blue in the end. So we'll see what this one turns out like. I think the other one, the turquoise, was darker. So here I am thinking I'm being original on my colors and getting away from my norm. But no, here I am doing purple and doing blue. Oh well. Creature of habit. If you don't know I love those colors by now, then you haven't been watching. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Or am I? I, you know me, I love my purple, my green, my blue. So I'm just going to start on the outside 
like this. I did the last one I did, not the one I, that I already shared the video, but the one I did after that, I poured it in rings going inward, but I think I'm gonna pour this one like I did the first one where I pour around the edge every time and let it work its way in. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see which way I like better. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the turquoise. Because everything pulls towards the center, this will also work because everything will be pulled towards the middle. I'm pooped. I had a long day. Got up early and went to breakfast with some good friends of mine. Then I went to Michael's. Then I came home and took a nap because I was tired. And then I've been hanging out with my husband tonight. And now he's gone off to do stuff with his friends. And I am here with you guys. And then when I'm done, I'm probably going to go play video games or something mind numbing, but fun. I just, my brain has had it for the day, I think. Got up way too early. The dogs got me up at like four and did not want me to go back to sleep. So, and then I had to leave the house at 8.30 for breakfast. So I got no sleep. Which is why I probably needed that nap. Okay. That looks cool. I like how the the purple is just kind of hovering on the inside and it's got like those scallopy edges. I just think that looks so cool. I've just been taking care to pour it really gently. So when I pour it, it doesn't like mess things up. It just kind of goes from the outside inward. And by doing this on the outside inward, that means that the pink interference is going to go all the way in as it pulls in, hopefully, or at least in the outer half. I love this mold that Tammy made for me. It's very cool. Probably going to start using it more often because I can make less resin or use resin for other things. All of my molds that I love, but I, that I make tend to be on the larger side. I don't know, my mindset is more is better, but it's not always that way. That looks really cool with the pink around the outside. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera, but it just looks so cool. The pink is kind of taken over the blue, but you can kind of just barely see the edge of it um, between the purple and the pink. And I didn't even think about it. Pink and blue make purple. So although this doesn't mix the same way like that two inks would mix, because it's basically just like a really fine glitter mica powder in there, so it's not gonna necessarily turn purple. I, I don't think it does. Okay. All right, now it's time for the white. I'm just gonna give it another quick stir and make sure that I don't have any unmixed bits. I'm really bad about that. I. I get, I get um, over eager and then I don't mix it as well as I probably should. And you guys can't tell, but I can tell. Okay, I think that's good. Hopefully. All right, so now I'm gonna do my spokes. So I'm gonna go around here couple times and then I'll start doing the 
the spokes. I hope you guys can see this. I know it's kind of hard. My hand is probably in the way. the dump I got in there in the middle and I'm not going to scrape it out but I'm going to use some of this to push not a lot in there to push so we'll see and I think that's what made the flower part in the middle last time was because I didn't have a whole lot of resin to push with I'll tell you how much that is in just a second. Whoops, pushed a little bit more than the, of that than I wanted to. Okay, just do a little swirly swirl. Here we go. And I used probably 15 mils of the clear for a push. And yeah, it looks very like baby colors towards the outside edge, which I think is cool. I don't know how much it's gonna move in, but I will do a little time lapse for you. And um, and then I'll come back in the morning. It does have some bubbles in there. Still, I can see like that one working their way out, but um, I will pop those all before I um, go in for the night. Um, you know, like in maybe 15 minutes, I'll come back and make sure I use the torch on it. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's morning. It's way too early in the morning. Thanks, dogs. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Looks really pretty on this side. Okay, ready? Oh, that looks beautiful. I think if my center wasn't so big, we would probably have some like webby kind of effect like that, but Oh, I love it. These all ended green. I think it's on level. Or I think this is a little uneven when I make it. There's more here, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's beautiful. I love it so much. I want to say, I don't know why it reminds me of like a violet or like a very spring flower. I know it's not violet shaped. Just, I don't know. The, the vibe. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.